Hi guys, welcome back to the Culture Golf Academy. We're in the middle of lockdown three, so I thought it'd be good to give you guys a really quick drill and some information on how to create more lag in your golf swing, which will give you more power and more speed. So what I've got with me is a really bendy training aid. Okay, so it's basically a gold flex, which is basically, it shows you and gives you feel of where the club head is, and it's obviously a lot more flexible than normal golf club. What lag basically is, is when the club sort of stays behind you and gathers momentum and gathers speed. And what I tend to see, a lot of the people I teach, they get quite stiff in their arms. They don't allow the time to you know, let the club drop to create speed and obviously give themselves a lot more power. So what you tend to find is that when the arms are producing the swing, you're not going to create as much speed. So with lag, you're actually able to let the club catch up, be speeding up at the most important point, which is impact, and go past the body. So the question is, how do we create this lag? So, what I tend to see, and the great thing about this is you'll be able to see the example of how much it kicks, okay? So what I tend to see at the top of the backswing, okay, people get very stiff in their arms and the arms move first. So even with this flexi stick, you can see there's a minimal a bend in this shaft, okay? So to create more lag, you need to make sure that the legs are the first thing to fire, okay? On the way down, the legs move first, which allows the arms to soften. This is massively, massively crucial. It's the softening of the arms that create the lag. Okay, so if you have a look now, top of the back swing position, legs fire, arms soft, and as you can see, it allows the club to then catch up. So if I actually do a couple of swings for you, you can hear the sound. Stiff arms, no leg movement, you're gonna see like that. So not a lot of sound, not a lot of power. Okay, so this time I'm really gonna try and load with the legs and let the arms soften, which again allows the lag. So, You can see there's a lot more speed and a lot more power. So, the great thing about this drill is you're able to actually get the feeling of the club getting left behind and catching up, which means when you then go to hit golf balls, if you let the legs fire first, the arms will soften, which allows the hands to catch up and will speed up past the body. Okay, so do a few of those drills at home, and hopefully you'll be able to produce a little bit more power, a little bit more speed, and give yourself a much, much better result. So you can hear there, nice and powerful off the face. I really gave my arms time to catch up. Don't go first with the arms. Legs first, arms catch up, speed past the body. So I hope you guys are okay. We missed you all, hopefully in sort of four to five weeks, we'll be able to see you again. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.